Hi guys. Uh, yeah, so we've had the first game, which is the Carabao Cup, which we won comfortably. But yeah, that was just a little tester because they were playing, they're a League Two team. And the next game will be an indicator of where we're at. Um, I keep getting, obviously, uh, little scouts to tell me about players and so on. But yeah, I'm, I'm not really... It, keen on signing any more players I'm happy with the team and I want to see how they do uh, just to see if they can cope with it and if we do good enough if we're not doing too well then I'll desperately struggle to find another one or two players but yeah we'll see how it goes and uh, I'd like to kind of I think this squad's big enough and just keep the finances down a little bit and uh, you know fingers crossed we, we build up from the back basically um, so yeah, so let's get into it. A um, couple of things in the next few days. I think next game is in eight days against Cheltenham uh, in the league, and we've got the the Carabao Cup draw and uh, just a, a couple of other things to uh, to check into. So let's get into it. Right. So second round draw, Carabao Cup. So let's see we see who we're gonna get. Again, as I always say, I'd like uh, either us at home against the crap team, but if you're going to give us a big team, um, well, I don't, we'll see. <laughs> it's a toughie because we kind of just want to keep going. So as we showed last year, we've got the ability to beat some big teams. So no, please not Millwall. I, yeah, we'll see. Hmm, I'm not too happy with that. To be fair, to be fair, Wolves, we're away, so it's going to be tough to get through it. But then again, then again, Wolves have got a lot of support, so and they've got a big stadium, so yeah, we might make a few quid. And it's all about the money, uh, and it's not the big, uh, the big cup competition. So yeah, it's all right, I suppose. Could have been worse. Could have been better. Right, yeah, the captaincy for this year. Obviously, the captain, well, it's a no-brainer. Pardy's obviously going to be captain. Um, oh, by the way, I didn't, I didn't mention before, um, a bid came for him in for Pardy uh, in the pre-season for like three pence, and I turned it down. He actually wanted to leave. He actually said he wanted to leave which not a cat in hell's chance. So it'll be one of those that hopefully we do well and he'll forget about it. But yeah, that was, uh, that was never going to happen. So the, the vice captain was Andy Cook, which I've kind of just told him, yeah, I'm sorry, mate. Uh, I don't think he's really going to play. So um, he's not going to be there. They're suggesting Kelleher, but Kelleher is not a first teamer and he's... Level is not up here. I think it's Van Arama level. So I'm going to go with Beavers uh, simply because he's going to play. And basically, either Pordy or Beavers, I would imagine, will always play. So if Pordy's injured, Beavers is playing, and, and then we've got a, a captain kind of player on the pitch. So that's pretty much what I'm going. So yeah, I'm happy with that. Yeah, I do want Beavers as vice captain. So there we go. So Pordy captain, Beavers vice captain. And there we go. After speaking with Pordy O'Connor, I believe that he no longer wants to leave the club in order to join Hearts. Um, yeah, so he was going, he was certainly stepping up a bit, but uh, he believes there are no longer any other clubs interested in his services. Oh, great, thanks. So... He only doesn't want to leave because there's nobody after him. So, but yeah, I don't care. As long as I get to keep him and he'll forget about it when we start doing well. So, yeah, so at least Pod is happy, which is what we need from our captain. Right, so our opponents today are Cheltenham Town. 
I just thought I'd have a look and just see where they're they're at, because uh, if you look at the stats here or how they've done for the last few years, it's kind of worrying for us because from 15, 16, they've made a steady progress. Look at that. They were in the Vanarama about five, six years ago, and they won it. They went 21st in League 2, 17th, 16th, 4th, and they won it. Now, talk about a perfect way of doing it. Uh, obviously, they weren't as quick as us, but... You don't na you don't naturally think of Cheltenham being a, a Division One or Championship team, or whatever, like Bradford. But that's just really well played. And then last year, they were tenth. So just look at the league last year. So from coming from the non-leagues to League Two, and they're just making progress every year. So now they are tenth. So yeah. Again, I don't even know why I'm looking at this because, uh, yeah, the, I mean, the players are, you know, some of the players are worth a few quid, but, um, but yeah, the progress they've made. So I get to be fair, I suppose, if we want, if we want uh, a game to test us to see what level we're at and, you know, how we set for the season. Yeah, this is a good one. It looks like they're a good League One, solid League One side. Um the other thing I, I, I just want to mention is um, looking at the striker. As you see there, John Marquis is injured for three to four weeks. Well, it says two to four weeks. So, yeah, I'm a little bit concerned, actually. So I guess it is down to Sonogo now. Um, and fingers crossed he can do, step up and do the business. When I signed him, he'd just come off a long injury of four months. Um, so, it doesn't look like he's injury prone. I mean, he's had a few days, he had six weeks there, six days there. But as I say, he's had a four month injury and then straight into a possibly about a month injury. So, it's a little bit concerning, but uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully it, it's just coincidence. I don't know. So yeah, so looking forward to it. So here's our team. Oh, we're not having Hornby. It automatically puts Hornby in. So I want to stick with Knightsbridge, to be fair. So yeah, defence is solid. Uh, two centre-halves, Staunton had a blinder last game. McLaughlin is back, although he trained pretty. He's the worst trainer in the, in the past week. Morton's back. Uh, Watty and Hondermark in the middle. And again, Sonogo's playing up front again. So, yeah, you know, solid team, but this will be a test. I can guarantee it. So let's let's go. Right. This is a match should be winning. Really? Uh, we're favourites. The fans are... Well, we're at home, but... Right, I'm going to go with this. Stick to the plan, stay patient, and we'll be fine. I think we always have to stay patient because... Uh, we sometimes take a little bit of time to settle in so I'm surprised if we were favorites in this one so okay then I'm always confident because I'm I like the team and at the end of the day as well as they've done recently not many teams can uh, be our Defence, so. So yeah, 20 minutes gone, we've kept them at bay. They've not had a shot, so. And to be fair, I mean, I know our keeper played well last game, but he's only a young lad, so I don't want him to face too many shots. Unlucky, a good little move. Well played.
Oh, that was a nice through ball. Maybe should have finished it, but at least he made the keeper work. Unlucky to no go. Well, they've had one yellow card so far, so uh, and we've had nothing. Well, so far, it's again, it's absolutely solid. Oh, well done, young boy. That's a cracking save. Thought that was going to be 1 0. Okay, offside. Oh, well done. Well, he's had to do one thing in that half and he did it fantastically. So, well done, keeper. Okay, then. So, half time, we've had seven shots, four on target. They've had one, which is a great save. So, okay. As per our first half score, I'm very happy with that. So, yeah, can't complain. Right, well, so I'm going with here. Keep going. We can win this if we work hard as a team. Yeah. Let's do our usual second half thing. Come on, Honda Mark. Well, Sonogo, I know you, you've got confidence, but that was a bit too much even for you, I think. Oh, no, no. Oh, he, he, he got excited. Oh. Well, we're keeping it solid, but we need some. Oh, wowza. That was a beautiful ball over the top. And uh, a young lone e scored, so. Oh, that was a beautiful ball. Beautiful, just breaking the offside trap. And young Grant scored. Excellent. Well, there we go. So. I need to stop getting so nervous. But then again, it is the first game of the season. So uh, I must be allowed that. Oh, no. Okay. Yeah, I think I think when you go up a league, you kind of want to just win a win a few games to just to get comfortable. Because I guess it doesn't matter what plans you have. Number one priority when you go up is don't get relegated. So, oh, what a ball! What a ball, Stone again. Oh, he's uh. Playing him in the wrong place. Well, there's a modern day uh, left back, I suppose. They can do everything. Right, I think it'll be a sub after this. Wow, nice little turn and shot. Oh, what did I say? Staunton again made the goal with a moment of quality. Look at this. Out wide by Morton. Well, welcome back. And that was a beautifully whipped ball. And Grant again. Well, he could be a great loan signing. Okay then. Why do we always do this? Second half, it's just incredible. Right then. Pereira not doing so great. Okay. Young boy playing, I'll let you have a go. Well, I'm going to take off Sonogo because McQuees is injured, so I don't want him to get injured as well. So we're two 0 up, so I'm, I'm reasonably confident about this. I wonder if Morton's going to get as tired this year. You know, he's, he's a year older and... Uh, ooh, well done, Knightsbridge. The keeper again, well done. So yeah, this is why I'm playing him. I mean, I know it's a risk sometimes, but the more he plays, the more confidence, he, more confident he gets, 
the better he'll do. Well defended. Yeah, I wonder if Morton's going to get as tired this year. Or he's kind of got used to uh, regular football. Pordy has given everything. Okay, who am I taking off? Okay, I'll take Pordy off. I'll play uh, on a Cousin Dawson because he's one of my hopes for the future. I always like to play our... Oh, oh I thought it was his hat-trick. Yeah, I always like to play my player rather than a lone player simply because I want them to build up and get experience, etc. Oof. Ooh, was that save? Yeah, it was saved. Wow. Well, well, well. This is, that's it pretty much. So, that is fantastic. Again, I don't want to get carried away because uh, it's the first game of the league, but... As I showed you with Cheltenham, they're a team on the up. They played, they were in the top half last year. And we just comfortably beat them. We had 19 shots, 9 on target. They had 5 and 2 on target. We better possession. Uh, the team played solid. Again, God, I'm unbro I'm honestly, I'm a broken record, but our defence is just brilliant. Knightsbridge, the young keeper, had a great game. And starting again, why is he's setting up for player of the season? Yeah, it's it's fantastic. I think the only concern a bit is is up front. You know, we're, we're, we're hoping on Sonogo and keeping them fit. So, yeah, fantastic. That is just a brilliant, brilliant start to the league season. Um, a win and a good performance that'll do for me well done yeah I think it's that because nice work everyone that was good not enough I'm going to go a win and a good performance excellent well there you go so lucky hat I think this is going to be another lucky hat situation we've uh, played two games won two games and can't ask for better than that so thanks for watching guys uh i'm really pleased with the team really pleased with the start and uh hopefully you'll join us soon and long may it continue so uh see you soon